Yo, what's good everybody? Prince and Retro Gamer here with another video continuing the series Sonic Blast from the Past. And in, in this video, we will be continuing our discussion about what levels we think that should have been added to Sonic Generation. And saying that, I would like to ask you, what levels do you think should have been added? Alright, well, there's a lot of levels that should have been added. Uh, going back to last week, we talked about... Uh why the hell that was there no Sonic 3 on Sonic Generations? We still haven't got the answers to that question yet. But uh, most of my picks came from Sonic 3, starting with Marble, uh, not Marble, yeah, Marble Garden. Marble Garden was on there. Um, yeah. I had Ice Cap Zone that should have been on there. That should have definitely been on there. I would right. love to see that remake in HD for the ice. That would have been nice, along right. with the OST. Uh, a unique map that most people don't talk about is Carnival Night. Carnival Night right. should have been on there. Um, that's one that you even recommended that should have been on there. I definitely think Carbon Knight should have been on there. Yeah. Um, and then going away from uh, Sonic 3, I had Marble Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 1 that I thought should have been on there. I would love to see that. Especially the remake in Classic to see how they would have remade that. Um, then I had Lava Reef Zone. And, oh, yeah. you know, obviously Lava Reef Zone, sh I mean, <laughs> it, it should have been the 10th map. If anything. Right. I mean, come on. I don't know how you leave that off there. And then I had some, X. yeah. And then I had some classic ones from, from Sonic Adventure One. I had Lost World, mm -hmm. um, and then Sonic Adventure Two at Metal Harbor, Sky Rail, and uh, right. I got some a, a couple other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you save them for your because I know we kind of agree on those. Um, but what are yours? What maps should um, should have been on there in your opinion? Uh, I kind of wrote a list myself. Uh, starting with Sonic Adventure, I had Wind Valley, Red Mountain, Sky Deck. Um, in Sonic Adventure 2, I had a uh, crazy gadget, Final Rush. Um, I also added on um, Pyramid Cave on that one too. Oh yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's a late. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. Pyramid Cave could have been on there. Um, yeah. I definitely, I did enjoy that map. That's actually an, another one of those uh, r uh, rarely talked about maps that doesn't right. get a lot of headline. But that map was actually pretty good too. I agree right. with you on that. Um, yeah, so the whole point of this, guys, is you know, what I mean, we all agree that what's on Sonic Generations now should not have been on there, as far as like, I mean, not all of them, but right. some of the maps that they have on there should not have been on there, or it should have been more. How about we say that it should have been more? Yeah. Um, and this is the chance for you guys to chime in and tell us what do you think should have been on there. You know, we gave our opinions. Uh, I know reading back to last com couple comments on the last video episode. Um, I saw a lot of ones from Sonic CD on there. I saw a couple of them from Sonic Unleashed. I even seen a, um, a, a good pick that someone mentioned was Kingdom Valley off of 06, Sonic 06. Kingdom oh, Valley. Yeah. Kingdom Valley, should, yeah, definitely should have been on there. I didn't think about Kingdom Valley. Um, a classic map. Um, a map that you um, mentioned to me earlier, Red Mountain from Sonic Adventure 1. Should have oh, yeah. been on there. Definitely should have been on there. And uh, I have a question to you because I know we, we talked about this earlier. Um, does anything from Shadow the Hedgehog count towards generations uh, I pretty much think that Sonic I mean Shadow the Hedgehog have some good um good maps levels on there so I pretty much think that they should have uh, considered adding some of the stages from Sonic the Hedgehog into Sonic generations right I, 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 I agree. pretty pretty much playable if they arrange it to Sonic Sonic likes and moves most definitely agree. Most definitely mm -hmm. agree. Um, and that's the thing I'm saying. Like, you know, uh, Shadow Hedgehog has some good maps. But I was, the question I was wondering is that it was Shadow the Hedgehog's franchise. Does it belong with Sonic Generations? Or was the main goal to get only Sonic maps on there? Because, But I'm thinking like this. It is made by Sega. Right. The whole point, I mean, there's no one else who makes Sega. I mean, makes Sonic but Sega. So right. does that count? And I, that's another question for you guys is that, you know, some of the other titles. And game, even games like, uh, I mean, even this might sound funny, but games like Sonic Riders and stuff. Oh, do, yeah. Do those, do maps, do maps, even though they were made for, you know, sk uh, sk uh, boards, would you consider any of those maps to be on there? You know, it's like, do they count? Right. Those are a lot right. of good questions that a lot of people never thought about in terms of what could have been on Sonic Generations. Does maps like 
Sonic Adventure. I mean, Sonic Riders count. Sonic, yeah, Sonic Racing, Sonic R. A lot yeah. of people don't talk about Sonic R. You know, do those maps count? You know, I'm like, I don't know. Like, you know, it depends on if they made it designed for that style of game. Yes, yeah. it, 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 I mean it's very possible that Sega can do that. Sega, a lot of people don't know, can do a lot of stuff if they if given the time to do it. If they're not rushing yeah. the game. I mean, because they rushed Sonic 06 and look what you got, you know. But if they take their time on the game, they can really do some good work. And I do think sure. maps from Sonic Riders and Sonic R and, and all those games, they yeah. could have remade that to fit Sonic Generations to where he's running around the maps, you know. So yeah. that's a good point. You know, good thing to think about. But, um, so yeah, now we're going to go into our last segment of this series, which is out of the nine maps. Uh, their own generations how will we rank those in order from nine to one now I came up with my list I'm gonna let Prince go after me I want to start off by saying that I had a uh, crisis city as number nine simply because I didn't like the, I told you guys the last week I didn't like the map mm-hmm. um, then I had number number eight I had sky sanctuary Then at number seven I had green hill zone uh, mm-hmm. planet with I had number six simply because it was a very long very very long map very yeah. long um Agreed. seaside hill i love seaside, seaside hill i put it at number five city escape number four and then here this is where we got tough the last three uh it was between chemical plant speed Hollow, and rooftop run number three i put chemical plant because when comparing them to the last two i don't see chemical plant overtaking that those two if you're talking about which map that i had that i had more fun playing I don't see myself playing having more fun initially <clears throat> playing chemical plant over the other two. And then yeah. I coming at number two, I had rooftop run and speed highway. Like those two could have been flip flopped. I mean, it was a very tough choice to uh to simply to, to narrow it down to you know you know yeah. one map you know. So those are my top my top. Keep saying top ten, top nine because there's only nine yeah. maps on there. Uh, what would you say is your top nine? Uh, number nine for me is a uh, crisis city. I have to agree with you on that. Uh, number eight. Planet Wish, just because of the length of it. Uh, seven, uh, Green Green Hill. Six, Seaside Hill. Uh, my fifth is Chemical Plant. My fourth is Sky Sanctuary. Uh, my third is Speed Highway, a classic for me. Oh yeah. Um, number two is um, City Escape, and with number one being Rooftop Run. Oh yeah, most definitely. I can and I can respect those. I can respect the order because I know you said you didn't like Chemical Plant Zone that much, so I can see why Chemical Plant. A lot of people. Yeah. That's another map that Chemical Plant could have been at the bottom of the top. Depends on what you like. Yeah. Um, I just like Chem- I like Chemical Plant Zone back then. I like Chemical Plant Zone now. So yeah, um, in the in the comment section below, how about you chime in? How about you guys leave us your top nine? And, you know, and in the comment section, me and Prince are going to go, you know, leave our feedback on what we think about your comment, you know, and mm-hmm. maybe ask why, you know, why you why you chose what you chose. Only reason why we didn't really go into in-depth in, in details because we want to keep the video as short as possible. But if you want to know why we left our choices, just go ahead and leave a comment. We'll feel free to go ahead and um, explain to you why we chose what we chose. Um, for next week, we got something special next week. We're going to go ahead and... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rank our top ten uh, Sonic soundtracks. Now, yeah. I've been doing, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, like since about maybe like uh, the 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 day after I did my top ten Sonic games of all time. I wanted to do a top ten Sonic soundtracks. Never got a chance to do it. So now I think this is the perfect time to do that. So mm-hmm. you guys stay tuned to that. We're gonna really think about this one. Like I really like on a. I've been really thinking about this for about six months now. How, I mean, like, there are so many good songs on right. in the Sonic collection. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it's really hard to narrow it down to ten. But we're gonna try yeah. our best, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play like little samples of the songs, you know, in, in the video. You know, depending on how long the video will be. But we'll work it out. But um, yeah. we, want, we want you to stay tuned to that because I think that's gonna be a very interesting segment, and I mean, the whole video is gonna be dedicated to that top. Uh, 10 song soundtrack so that should be a good one but uh any last words prince um not much for me uh, all right all right so stay tuned next thursday sonic blast from the past thursday uh like i said expect that to be coming out soon it's your boy retro that's prince we're out peace